Hey guys, so today I wanted to do sort of a healthy eating video. I have actually lost 10 pounds in about a month and a half to two months um, and this is just eating healthier, not starving myself, not going to the gym either. Um, this is just from making a few lifestyle changes and eating um, a little bit healthier. I just wanted to share with you ways that I lost weight without having to go to the gym. I know some people can't afford it, some people, you know, it's really inconvenient. It's a great feeling to know that I can still eat food and be full and, and like lose unnecessary weight. I have my little, um, little journal and I wrote down some tips that I have been doing that have really helped me. My first tip would be to drink cold water in the morning. If you drink ice water in the morning after you're sleeping all night, um, you actually boost your metabolism because your body is not used to um, the activity. So your metabolism has to work twice as hard to um, adjust to the coldness of the water. If you add lemon, it also detoxifies your body. So that is a really good tip just to you know kickstart your metabolism for the day. My next tip would be to eat smaller portions. Order something at a restaurant, you notice that they give you so much food and you're like, oh my god, I'm just gonna eat until I stuff my face. Well, try not to do that. You know, don't eat until you're licking your plate and you're like, ugh. Eating until you feel contently full. I usually, when I go get coffee, I will get a medium ice white chocolate chip mocha cream only. Like cream only is going to do anything with that coffee. So lately I've been trying to switch up my coffee because I get a coffee every day. I'm addicted. I work at a coffee place. Like if I have to get my white chocolate chip mocha, I'm going to get skim milk only instead of cream. It's just a better, like it's just a little healthier. And then, but most of the time that is just a treat for me. I will just get a like a blueberry iced coffee with milk and sugar. It's better for you and it's just little changes like that actually make a huge difference. To make simple choices such as if you're um, cooking eggs, like take out the yolk, use egg whites. Um, egg whites are actually like very, very low in calories um, and the yolk it has a lot of cholesterol in it. If I get a bagel, I will cut it in half, I will scoop out the inside <laughs> and then I'll toast it and if you feel weird um, it's actually very common for people to ask um, can I get my bagel scooped out and most people who work with bagels and stuff they know what that means it means just scoop out so it's like the shell of the bagel and that makes it like a hundred calories as opposed to like 250 for a thick bread you know bagel that's just gonna go straight to your ass another good tip is to just completely stop eating white bread and switch to um, whole wheat or a whole grain just so much better for you um, it actually has nutritional value whereas white bread does not it's just bleached like flour <laughs> so you don't want to eat white bread white pasta um, I mean it's okay to have it on occasion but it, it's just a lot healthier for your body to um, take in wheat and whole grains and stuff like that cutting out unhealthy snacks is really important like I no longer drink soda. Um, I used to be addicted to drinking Diet Coke and Coke. Cutting out soda, you'll see a change. Diet Coke's okay, I guess, but I just don't like the idea of all the Splenda and stuff that's in it. It's not really natural. Green tea. Green tea is amazing. Um, it curbs your appetite and it's extremely healthy for you. It has a ton of antioxidants. You also don't want to eat before bed because if you eat before bed you will just be sleeping all night with your stomach full and it's not being burned off so all that's just turning into you know stored fat do not eat like right before bed um, probably like three hours before you're going to bed you shouldn't be eating oh and you guys will like this one okay do have a cheat day like if you um, eat healthy during the week and you're really proud of yourself and you feel like you did a good job it's always rewarding to be like you know what I'm gonna go get that grande ice caramel macchiato and suck that thing down <coughs> or I'm gonna go to Dairy Queen because I deserve it you gotta indulge once in a while and if you do that once a week you're not gonna gain all the weight back but you can't be doing that every day. You you have to be, you know, keeping up your healthy lifestyle, making these good choices. I gorged my face on Easter and 
I still, you know, manage to keep off the 10 pounds. So it's really, you know, don't be starving yourself. Don't be like, oh, I can never eat chocolate again. I can never eat a burger again. You can, but don't eat a burger every day. Eat a burger once a week. Have a cheat day. Don't stress about it. Um, and, you know, just try to eat healthy throughout the week. You'll feel good about it when it comes around and you can stuff your face, so. Okay, the last tip I wanna give you before I show you a little healthy recipe um, is my fitness pal. You could have a food diary, uh, write it down, but I feel like people don't really keep up with this. But if you have an iPhone, um, it's a simple app you can download. I'll show you. It's right here, looks like that. Um, and basically, you can add in the foods that you ate for the day, and it will tell you the calories, and you have a certain amount based on your body weight and your height, I think, and how much activity you do on a daily basis. You have a, um, a goal that you're not supposed to really go over. I just wanted to show you this MyFitnessPal app. You can also put in your weight, and that's how I knew I lost 10 pounds. The coolest part about this app is that you can actually hit the scan button. I scanned the carton of egg whites, um, it has the little barcode, and it will put in the calories for you. So you don't even have to type it in. I'm gonna show you guys the breakfast that I made this morning that was 275 calories and it's so good. If you like your breakfast sandwiches like I do, you'll appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed my healthy tips. I'll see you in my next video, bye. So what you're gonna need is a Thomas English muffin. I got the whole grain one. And then I'm going to add a slice of American cheese and turkey bacon. I used two slices of this. And I'm also going to do egg beaters. It's 25 calories. Um, and then I'm going to spray the pan with some olive oil. And cook away. And then I also like to drink some Blueberry Slim Life by Yogi. Um, it's a green tea and they have the cutest little fortunes. And voila! Breakfast.